Hello everyone, so today we are revisiting Nocturne Toten, the OG Call of Duty Zombies map. I haven't played this in a good minute, so I don't necessarily have high hopes for this. That being said, my highest round on Noct ever is like round 12, maybe like 14 or 15. I had to adjust my mic there, but I mean, I you know, just thought I'd make a video on this. Right after the uh, Nick Merckx incident, you know, where Activision came out and said they support child grooming, I just, like, uninstalled Call of Duty. Um, I did reinstall it, but I am never again buying from Activision after that, y'all. That was just... That was just... No, and I, I ain't supporting that, y'all. But, um, i already bought World at War. So... You know. A little fun fact. Uh, my cons fellow console, my console viewers might not know this, but, uh, on the Steam version, it actually has no controller support, and you have to, like, <clears throat> mod the game, I can't remember if it's called, yeah, you have to, like, mod it to, uh, use controller, like, I'm actually using an Xbox One controller right now, and it says, press and hold F to rebuild. The car isn't a good gun, but, like, I just like popping heads with it, you know? I used to think that the zombies could come through here for some reason. Well, fun fact. World at War is actually on the PS2. It's called World at War Final Fronts. I don't know if there's any real difference between that and the, the normal World at War. Or if it's just a lower graphic version of World at War. I'm going to buy it eventually on the PS2. I think Lukey Games asked about like $8 for it. I would be really curious to know if it has Nocturne Toten on it. But since, like, there's no internet for it, and, I mean, PS2 did have internet, but uh, that was Ethernet, not Wi-Fi, and I, I just don't have the correct stuff to set up internet on it. But uh, even if it did, I don't think the PS2 ever had updates, did it? Like, I, I wasn't around... <coughs> excuse me. Suffering with a bit of an allergy... But I wasn't, like, playing video games when the PS2 came out. There are more of them than I remember, and that was a really bad nuke, because I need the points. But anyways, I wasn't really playing video games during the PS2 era, because I was, like, just a little kid. I mean, it, 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 came out a lot. it came out, like, in the early 2000s, so I was, like, just, like, a toddler. But, uh, so I don't know if the PS2 ever received updates or not. But, um, where I was going with this was, uh, you know, after Zombies turned out to be a huge success, the game would receive an update where you didn't have to beat the campaign to play it. Um, so I'm just curious, you know, if the PS2 version would have that. Miss. Miss. Hit. You sunk my battleship. I haven't actually played Battleship in forever. I used to love that game as a kid. Like 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 the board game, not not the video game based off of the movie. But um I used to love playing Battleship as a kid. And I my sister liked it, but she wasn't a huge fan of it, but I would like bug her to play it with me. The thing about the Card 98K is, like, the same bullet can hit, like, up to, like, three zombies, if I'm correct. A little fun fact there for those who might not have known that. So, a couple people, if, uh... Unless this is, like, your first video that you're watching by me, might have noticed I recently changed my username. Uh, I'm gonna try and I'm I'm gonna be shifting the channel more towards uh, focusing on gaming content. You know, like just focusing on one thing versus being like a crazy variety channel where like literally anything is on the menu because that's just not as good for building a channel. You know, if you have like 
multiple topics that your channel is about. It's not a good way to build it. Like my second channel, which is dedicated entirely just to like Batman, uh, called All Things Arkham. Um, within like less than a year, you know, it had more, it, it's grown more than this channel did in like a few years. So that being said, I didn't really, the first like three, four years of me having a channel, I pretty much like, I only had like a dozen videos, but... Being, it's harder to grow a variety channel to an extent than it is a channel that's dedicated to a single topic. And I have been doing, you know, like a lot of snack and drink reviews and testings, which I'll still continue to do every now and then. But uh, I just want to focus more on gaming. I dream of being a professional YouTuber for a long time. Okay, yeah, we gotta break out this. I didn't feel like taking the chance with the box today. I was like, nah, I'm just gonna grab the Tommy gun. And I accidentally, you know, set the gasoline tanks off. So I recently, uh, was watching some clips from Saving Private Ryan. Definitely a sad movie. I mean, it has a bittersweet ending. It's not like a happy ending, but it's not a sad ending either. You know, because Ryan did get saved, but you know, so, uh, the captain, you know, who he really got attached to throughout the movie, he ended up, well, I was about to say spoiler alert, but I'm like, well, you can probably guess why I was about to say that he died. War is not good, y'all. War is, uh, Whoa, okay, I think he's the, is, is he the last one? Because now I want to go hit the box. Um, yep, I believe he's the last one. Anyways, I've been playing a game called, I started playing a game called Enemy Front. Which is kind of like a mix of, like, Call of Duty and Metro. Like, with, like, Metro with the mechanics. Oh, that's a step down. Nocturne Toten Springfield Only Challenge. Alright, M1 Garand, it, it, it's decent. It's not great. I love Pack-a-Punching, the one with the grenade launcher, even though you're probably going to kill yourself with the grenades, unless you're, like, careful. Unless you're pretty careful, just because this is World at War, it's still really fun to use. Just, like, I think it has, like, three automatic grenades instead of just one. I'm going to try to make a couple videos on the DS version of this game, which was actually the first Call of Duty that I ever owned. So, like, my... F I don't remember what happened to my first copy. I think I traded it for New Super Mario Bros. with one of my friends. And then I bought another copy not too long ago, but then I sold it, and I wanted it back, so I was like, okay. So, a uh, Lukey Games had marked their price down to where it was like a complete copy for like seven, eight dollars, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm taking that price." They had been they had been going for like twenty some dollars, like just for the cartridge, maybe more like fifteen just for the cartridge, but still quite a price. Ammo. All right, well, there's no reason to save ammo right now, so. Oh, and we lost our insta-kill, and somehow I didn't notice. Bro, how did I not pick it up? No. No. There we go. I, mean, I lost a little bit of ammo with, that, with the Tommy gun, but... Yeah, I think we're gonna need another box hit. Uh, is he the last? Nope, he is not the last one. So far, it's going pretty smoothly. Okay, we got another one. Do we have any more in here? I'm sure the Wii version of this game, of, like the Wii Call of Duties, those are probably quite interesting. 
So for those who didn't know, uh, the DS versions were actually developed by In Space Games and not Treyarch. Er, yeah, Treyarch. They were still published by Activision, but... Um, In Space Games would... They went bankrupt a long time ago. They only ever really did, like, some deep... They did... They were mostly known for their DS games. They did a couple, like, PS2 games and maybe even a PS1 game. But they were most known for their DS adaption of, like, console games. Now we're talking... Uh, I think they did, like, the Force Unleashed on the DS. Ooh, that is so tempting. But this is Nocturne and Toten, y'all. I'm probably just going to kill myself with it, so I have to pass. Like, the, the ray gun is so overrated. People will be like, oh, just get PhD. I'm like, well, for starters, PhD, well, if you're playing on another game, that is. PhD did not exist on World at War. But it's just, like, I cannot tell you how many times I have killed myself with the ray gun. You know, like, what are you going to do when a zombie gets right up in your face? You know, you either get swiped or, in, or you take splash damage. That being said, the Pack-A-Punch version has less splash damage, but it's still pretty risky. Ah, nostalgic memories. All the poor kids who had a copy of World at War knew the struggle of, like, you know, seeing people on YouTube playing the other maps, but all you had was Nocturne and Toten. The only reason I was ever able to play the DLC maps for Black Ops 2 on my old 360 was, uh... So my friend uh, had an Xbox One. Okay? And the... So you could, like... You could be signed in on an Xbox 360 and an Xbox One, and it wouldn't affect either account. And he had the season pass for Black Ops 2. So we made a deal. You know, I, I traded some stuff... In order for him to give him uh, his account information. So I could use the DLCs for Black Ops 2. And you know, I, I did the license transfer on my 360. Like I said, it, like I said, like the way it was at the time. And I think it is still the same way. Like it won't affect your Xbox One account. And so he could still play his Xbox One. Like, you know, with no problems. And I had access to the Black Ops 2 DLCs on my profile. Because like, like I said, I did, I did the license transfer. Oh no, I, I want that maxi so bad, y'all. Reload. Ah! Crap. We missed it. I have to try again. Come on. Please, no zombies here. Okay. Come to me. Come to me. No! Come to me, Maxi. Why are they all just pouring in from there? Oh, we're not gonna get it, are we? No. Crap. Well, that sucks. Honestly, we should probably be using our Tommy gun right now just because we can buy ammo for it. Come on. It wasn't until, um, you know, I, I got into PC gaming, which was about a year and a half ago, a year ago, that I was finally able to play, you know, all these DLC maps. Like, I'm Black Ops 1 and World at War. And a little, another little fun fact about the PC version, um, they don't actually have the DLCs. Like, everything just comes with the game. I guess they were like, yeah, we're just going to give them that because of how old it is. I mean, the world record on this map is, like, insane. Like, what, 14-something thousand? Maybe not that high, but it's over a thousand. Me, I'm like, yeah, I'm doing good to get past, like, round 10. Treat. Do not wish to be overrun by the zombies. I will take that, actually, because we don't really need points right now. We do need to get some more Tommy gun ammo, though. We're running a little low. Oh, crap. We're not going to have time to get it, are we? Just run and don't stop. Ah! So who remembers when you couldn't sprint on Call of Duty? That was like, oh, that's old school Call of Duty there, y'all. That was not introduced until Modern Warfare. 
Up until then, you could not sprint. If you pressed what is now the sprint button, you wonder what would happen? Your character pulled out a pair of binoculars. That caught me so off guard. Because, like, the first Call of Duties I played was, like, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Advanced Warfare, and World at War. And then when I wanted to play, like, Call of Duty 2 and Call of Duty 3, I was so unprepared to not be able to sprint. Like, Call of Duty 2, almost all of the achievements are on veteran difficulty. There are, like, 12 achievements, and 10 of them you can only get by playing the game on veteran difficulty. And veteran difficulty on Call of Duty 2 is just cracked. Like, you have to have some serious skill to play that. Like, you think modern day veteran is hard? Nah, man, play Call of Duty 2. Like, grenades will be... Especially smoke grenades. Th those are going to be your best friends. And my cat walked by and she scared me for a second. Like, nah, zombies, nah, they ain't scaring me. Oh, my cat walks by and startles me? Yeah. She needs to lose some weight. She is thick. She is quite rotund. Alright. I think you're probably the last one. Yep. Honestly, we should probably get some more ammo. I am not on my, my A game today. So I was like, oh, wait, we should have gotten the ammo, then killed that last zombie. Not the other way around. Okay. Round nine. Hey, that's that's good news. That is good news, especially since I'm not the strongest player. Especially on Noct. Noct is a hard map, you know, not gonna lie. It is not an easy map. Most people can agree on that. Is it the hardest map? No, I would probably... Well, that actually, first of all, goes to the DS zombies. But, like, cause that's just stupid hard. But, uh, five? That's probably the hardest, like, console zombies. The DS zombies, that is just, like, stupid. Stupid hard. Like, you, the mechanics are just broken, and you can only get hit once. Like, t imagine the easiest maps in all of Call of Duty. Like, Kino, Town, but you can only take one hit. Can you just imagine how much harder they would be? That would just be, like, nightmarishly hard. Alright, we might need to hit the box another, another round or two, because we are running a little low on MG42 ammo. This was, yeah, MG42. This, that's what I thought it was called. I actually uh, recently got a copy of Medal of Honor on the PS1. That should be interesting. Give me that. That should be interesting to play. I'm probably going to make a video on that. Like, like, Medal of Honor was, like, pre-Call of Duty, Call of Duty. If that makes sense. Okay, we need to leave one alive. I think the max spawn is, like, 24. Okay, there's one, two, okay. There's one. Okay, kill this guy. That nuke was, like, really useful. How many are left? It's possible he's the last one. I'm gonna run around just a little bit more to be safe, because they can be a little slow spawning in. Round 10. This is going better than I thought it would. Alright, so first things first, let's grab some more ammo. Cause just because of how light the Tommy gun is, it's definitely a good option. I mean, I'll take them, just because why not? Is there a way to get more Molotovs on this game? Because you don't get them with a max ammo. So, like, is there any way to get more Molotovs? 
What's that? Nah, I'm a pass. I'm like, I, I don't even really know what I'm hitting for right now, to be honest. I think the STG is a little more powerful from than the Tommy guns. Maybe like the STG, I don't know. Uh, no. Although, that is a pretty decent gun. Uh, the I also don't remember its name. I know what it is. It, it, you know, pump action shotgun. Is it just called like the combat shotgun? Like I said, I hadn't played World at War in a good long while. One of these days, not any time in the near future. But I'm going to get a Wii. I'm going to play like the Wii versions of Call of Duty. I don't know if we World at War had zombies or not, but I know Black Ops 1 did. I know it had Kino. Apparently, like, w w with an update, it had five. But you can't update it anymore. So, while well, it did have five, it's unplayable. Unless you just happen to have, you know, know, a, know someone with the updated version. Which, more than likely, you don't, but, hey, it's possible. Especially, like, since most companies, you know, wipe the memory whenever they, you know, whenever they buy them to resell them. So, unless you just, like, happen to know someone who was playing it back in the day, you know, have fun. Oh, gee. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, no, they're coming in over here. That's bad. Uh, y'all, I need to reload. Breather, 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 please. Oh, man, now we, we really need ammo. Like, 70 rounds. That might last a round. I'd like to get that other uh, machine gun. I don't remember the name of it. I probably will buy Modern Warfare 3, but not on launch, that's for sure. Like I said, I'm not supporting Activision anymore. So I'll probably just wait a while and get a used copy. Because apparently it has zombies. So, well, the remastered Modern Warfare 3, I should say. Does anyone, like, remember, like, survival mode? From, like, the OG, from, like, the actual Modern Warfare 3? That was something else. And there was, like, Exo Survival on Exo Zomb on, like, Advanced Warfare, which was kind of broken. And I think I hear Thunder, which is, like, really bad. Because I do lawn care, and I need to go to work after I'm done recording this. But I can't work if it's raining. And I can, but it's kind of hard. Come on. Alright, yeah, we're... Just gonna hope this will last us round 12. Where is he? So who else thinks Call of Duty Vanguard sucks? I think that that was like the one Call of Duty that like everyone came together and said, yeah, this game is just awful. Trying to make like a woke version of World War II? Like, no, do not mess with historical accuracy because of your political agenda. Like, just that's just a big fat no. What was... He just charges that one window, and then he's like, nah, I'm just gonna, like, side walk to this other one. Insta-kill! Clutch insta-kill. Come on, reload, reload! I 
could really use a maxi, though. Thankfully, we didn't have to use too much ammo there, because we got that insta-kill, but we are low, low on ammo. Like, just pitifully low. Like, it ain't, it ain't even funny, y'all. Round 13. Wow, we are getting close to my personal record. Maybe that'll kill a zombie or two. Uh, do, do a little bit of damage. I saw I get, saw 10 points added to me, so. Why not? For the lulls. Yes! Another max ammo? Yo, that's what's up. This game's like, alright, we hear you already. Just, just chill. Come on, reload. 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 Oh, this is bad. Move it, crawler. Okay. We can do it. I believe in myself. go rebuild this barrier because they are just pouring in here a bit too fast for my liking slow a couple of them down you know I believe it is raining I mean I, I, I have my headset on so I can't hear too well but I do believe it is raining oh well that sucks One of these days, I won't have to go to work. So my work will be my computer. Just put God first, you know? Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. No! 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 Excuse me. You're being rude. I don't appreciate your attitude, Mr. Zombie. I do not appreciate it, like, at all. Oh, that was clutch. We got caught for like half a second. Uh. Ah. Uh, probably shouldn't do this, but we're trying. I didn't even know you could die from the Molotov cocktail. I knew you could take damage from it. But I didn't know you could die. I, I ruined a shot at beating my own PR. And it is definitely raining. Well. Man. Well, that was a good game, y'all. I'm not going to lie. That was a good game. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Jesus loves you. Goodbye.